Super X by X from publisher Team Grabanza Fox has landed on Steam this week and it is a real retro shmup fest. Following on from their previous games, this scrolling shooter aims to pump the nostalgia gland to its fullest. True to form, the team have produced a very playable blaster featuring six levels crowned of enemies to take down. Each level has a large boss at the end and there are secrets to uncover along the way. Add in the bombs, power ups and pixel pleasure and we have a real treat on our hands. The year is 3999, humanity has long colonised itself across the galaxy, devouring new worlds for their resources, enjoying the interstellar life of luxury, more or less friendly interactions with other alien races. That was until an ancient threat was awakened from its slumber, the Black Serpent, the great destroyer of worlds, he's back and he's about to make the Milky Way his greatest feast yet. As you can tell, the story is mostly irrelevant and takes a firm backseat to the shoot in action. Super XYX is a no-nonsense vertical shooter that harks back to the glory days of shmups. You take control of one of two ships initially, but several more can be unlocked as you improve. It is your job to make it through the alien horde and win the day. It features short levels with interesting enemy types and attack formations. Super XYX does not quite reach bullet hell status, but there is a great mix of homing fire and waves that keep the action frantic. Experienced shmup players will fall right at home, swooping from left to right, avoiding the onslaught or trying to defeat all the enemies. The real skill in Super XYX is not dying. Just like shmups of old, getting through a level without dying grants big score bonuses. It also gives you the chance to unlock bonus stages as you progress. Bonus stages are small sections of the six main levels thrust together in quick succession with different bosses and enemy waves to destroy. Staying alive is tricky though, and you will need to remember the attack patterns and movements to succeed. There is real relief if you manage to get through and watching the bonuses rack up at the end of the level is very satisfying. Score junkies will have lots to aim for here, as will you 1cc champs. An important aspect of any shmup is its scoring system. Super XYX keeps this simple with points for chaining attacks into combos and collecting the medals that fall from the enemies. The more you chain and collect, the bigger your score. At the end of each level, bonuses are awarded for your total combo and medal count as well as lives left. Enemies will drop bigger medals if you destroy them in combination and there is an end of level reward for getting all of the enemies on each level. This system is great for high school junkies and those that love to see those huge numbers, however the system is easy to crack if hard to master so it affects the longevity. The other important aspect is the power ups. They come in two forms dropped by item pods that you shoot open. The first is a simple fire upgrade and the second add additional guns to your sight. The initial starting ships are your classic spread shot and focus shot craft, the game being much easier to complete with the initial spread shot. Both crafts power up immensely and it's satisfying building up the firepower before the boss. The bombs are very generous and can be used at any stage of a level. The bosses are easy to take down though as the bombs also destroy all on-screen attacks. The other unlockable ships each have different weapons so trying the game with all of them adds to the longevity. Controlling your chosen ship feels tight and any deaths belong to you. There were not many cheap deaths during my playthrough, the game feels fair and you will enjoy building up your memory of the stages. Two difficulty stages can be selected once you work out where the hidden options menu is. By hidden, I mean having to look for the extra options page and switching screens. A good variety of control options is present and you can fiddle with the game mechanics to make it easier or harder. Hitboxes are generous and may leave experienced players feeling a little disappointed. There were times I thought I was definitely dead, only to find myself still flying and shooting. The pixel art is gorgeous with vibrant colours and decent animation. Each level looks distinctively different with some high points being the alien mothership and a sea level. Bosses crowd the screen but are not that classic. They are more functional and most have weak bullet patterns, but they are fun to battle when the explosion and effects are excellent. The sounds are loud and crisp and the music is functional but not outstanding. PC shmup lovers will do well to get better value for their money with this classy shooter on. It's out now on Steam. I've been RetroFave. Thanks for watching. Keep it retro.